sperm quality or male fertility has seen a sharp fall over the past few years and you may not know but you could be doing something wrong that could eventually lead to poor sperm quality in future so we'll discuss all the factors first factor is heat sperms require slightly cooler temperature to form and sustain so men should avoid sitting for long hours in tight clothes and for the same reason you should avoid sauna excessively and men should also avoid hot water bath and in today's day and age when a lot of you are working from home it is important for you not to keep your laptop on your lap and work because the heat that is generated from laptop comes directly in contact with that area so try to maintain a safe distance keep your laptop aside over a desk and then work second factor is obesity the science behind it is that fat cells that are present in your body convert testosterone which is male hormone into estrogen which is female hormone so if you lose weight that will increase your testosterone indirectly which can lead to increase in sperm quality another reason is that obesity sometimes is associated with other disorders like diabetes which in itself can reduce sperm quality now how exactly can you lose weight by diet and exercise so our next point is about diet Fertility diet typically includes intake of fresh fruits and vegetables, nuts, seeds. You should avoid processed food, sugary beverages, etc. So when we think about diet, first thing that comes into our mind is cut down fat. But you need to understand that that not all fat is bad. It, sometimes fat is essential for our body. In fact, testosterone is basically formed from cholesterol. you should be able to differentiate good fat from bad fat bad fat comes from junk food it comes from trans fatty acids so you should avoid junk food avoid refined oil instead switch to healthier diet which includes olive oil coconut oil or kachchi ghani other sources of good fat includes nuts and seeds for example sunflower seeds if you are a non vegetarian try to avoid red meat another dietary product which has gained a lot of attention is soya so a lot of people discuss and say that uh, men should avoid consumption of soya and the reason behind it is that soya contains natural estrogen that is isoflavonoid but studies have shown that even if you take large amount of soya still it does not really uh, matter much but you can decide for your own in diet there are many things that we can't control we cannot control the use of uh, pesticides and chemicals in our food but one thing that we can definitely control is use of plastic in our kitchen and it is not only for fertility but it is important for the health of entire family because plastic especially the plastics that contain bpa bpa is one product that can lead to hormonal disturbance endocrinological disorders which can it can lead to disorders such as diabetes and in certain cases cancer so instead of using plastic use glassware and make it a point never ever to microwave in plastic container do not use plastic water bottles that are supposed to be disposable also don't leave your plastic water water bottle in your car for longer duration because then car heats up and that is bad next point in weight management is exercise so is it necessary for everybody to hit the gym no you can do steady state exercise like running jogging etc or if you're fond of hit then you can do high intensity workout studies have shown that both show similar results make sure that you do some amount some activity and if your exercise is focused on losing weight you can follow that exercise regimen and i want to mention here that steroids that are consumed during workout as performance enhancing drugs to improve muscle mass they affect your sperm quality drastically and let me tell you practically at any given point of time i have one or two patients who suffer from azoospermia which is complete absence of sperms in semen due to intake of steroids once there is azoospermia even if you leave steroids it takes a lot of time for your fertility to come back Next point is drinking and smoking. So moderate drinking or social drinking will not really affect your reproductive function much, but if you are a heavy drinker then you should you should try to cut down on that. But it is important for men as well as women to note that 
smoking can lead to poor fertility in both men and women one bad thing about smoking is that your fertility test that is semen analysis can come out to be normal but smoking actually causes dna damage in your sperms you know that dna is that nuclear material that you pass on to your kids so if that is damaged you can imagine that it can not only lead to infertility it can also lead to miscarriages another factor is usage of certain types of medicines so some medicines like finasteride antipsychotics antidepressants these medicines can actually hamper your sperm quality antipsychotics can can cause erectile dysfunction so if you are on certain drugs it is important for you to tell your doctor your treatment history so that your doctor knows and can alter or change the dosing schedule for you don't stop taking any drug on your own another medicine that is used or rather abused is testosterone if you take testosterone in any form then instead of improving sperms it will completely shut down the production of sperms in your body next factor is sleep there are many hormones that follow sleep wake cycle hormones such as growth hormone and gonadotropin hormone and it was seen that men who slept only for 5 hours had 15% less sperm count as compared to men who slept for 8 hours so it is important for you to have good night sleep if you have sleep disturbance you can use various methods to correct that you can uh, meditate you should avoid afternoon naps avoid having caffeine or nicotine at bedtime reduce your screen time exercise another factor that can impair your sperm quality is stress see this is a fast paced life and stress can affect male as well as female fertility certain hormones such as cortisol etc that is released during stress gives us that fight or flight response it can cause oxidative damage and can affect each and every cell in our body so uh, we need to work our way around we can meditate or find a hobby listen to music or if required talk to a therapist you can wake up early go for a walk and for couple of hours shut yourself from everything around you that should be your me time don't think about all the errands you have to run and the work that needs to be done and about all the problems that are in your head that are not there anywhere you owe this to yourself your body your mind your soul i hope it helps